Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a makeup tutorial for you guys. It is my like everyday spring slash summer makeup. Um, instead of using the BB cream today I've gone for foundation. However I would normally use my BB cream so I can do another tutorial with that if you want in the future. I thought I would do this as it's quite highly requested from you guys. Lots of people say, oh, can you do a tutorial on this look or that look? So I try to like incorporate a lot of different videos in my channel. Also, I do know that it looks quite white on camera at the moment. It's because I'm sitting in front of a massive window. So it's actually not that white in real person. Um, it's actually quite natural, which I really like. I love the natural look. So yeah, um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And let's get into the video. Hello everyone, so first of all I'm going to put my hair back as it, I find it a lot easier to apply my makeup. I'm then going to be using a foundation primer, this is the Smashbox one. Now I've used my um, foundation primer, I'm going to be using this Kiko Makeup Milano foundation. I really love this, it um, is really easy to apply. This is the Creamy Beige 107. I'm also going to be using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush to apply this as I find it the easiest way to do this. Now I've finished with my foundation, I'm now going to move on to concealer. This is the Wake Me Up Rimmel Concealer in the shade 30 Classic Beige. I like to use concealer just to cover up red areas and also to highlight certain areas. Once I've applied my foundation and concealer, I'm now going to be using my Stay Matte Powder by Rimmel just to protect my face from um, oil later on in the day and just to set my makeup really. Now I'm going to be using some bronzer to add a bit of colour to my face, also to highlight certain areas. This is the 25 Sun Glow by Rimmel. Once I've applied some bronzer, I'm then going to be using some blusher just to add some more colour onto my face. This is the 54 Frosted Rose by Bourjois and I really love this blusher. It just adds so much colour to your face and it's really easy to apply. So I definitely recommend the Bourjois um, blushes. I'm now going to be curling my eyelashes with just um, some curlers. I'm then going to be applying the Thick and Fast Mascara by Soap and Glory and on top of that I'm going to be using my Rimmel Scandalize uh, Mascara Extreme Black which is my absolute favourite. Now that you've basically finished your makeup, the last thing to do is add a bit of colour to your lips. I'm using the Colour Rushes by Rimmel. I'm not quite sure what shade this is, but I will find out and let you know. So that's my finished makeup look. I hope you like it. If you do and you want to see more videos like this, then give it a thumbs up and let me know. And I will see you soon. Bye.